Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hey guys, it's been it's been a while. It's been a while and I'm gonna try and hurry up. Um, I've been avoiding social media for I think for a month now or for a few weeks for a very good reason. You know, sometimes it's good to have sanity away from social media just for my own my own personal sanity, you know? I try as much as possible just to be in my own little corner. I need you guys to tag Chela Tukuta in this video. Help me tag him, okay? If you guys can screen record and send it to him, please do that. I have been holding, I've been holding on to a lot of things for the longest time, but I feel like sometimes it's okay to let things go. I feel like sometimes it's okay to free yourself. My older sister has given me advice you know times without number to let it go my older sister has told me you have managed to you know to avoid him all these years please do so even now but i realize that there is no ending point with chela i i realize that if I, if I keep quiet for the longest time, he will keep on coming for me. He will keep on coming for me. It feels, it feels like he feeds off my energy. And you know, the more he feeds off my energy, the more I'm getting drained as a person. Please tag Chela, okay? Please tag Chela Tukuta. It's been, I think, three years now. I have kept quiet. I have, and I'm not mad, you know, I'm really not mad. I'm just in a space where I feel like it's okay. It's okay to say something. It's okay, you know, it's all right. I feel like I'm at, I'm at the point in my life where I have so much peace and I don't want anybody to take that peace away from me. Chela Tukuta, I've never had a problem with you. This message is coming to you. Chela Tukuta, I've never had a problem with you, even when you've had problems with me. I have tried to avoid you since 2020. You put dirt on my name. You just didn't want to discredit my work. You just didn't want to discredit me as a person. You wanted to see me dead. Because what you did to me, that was killing somebody. And you did it. In your own possible ways, you did it. Was I offended? Yes, I was. Did you hurt my feelings? Yes, you did. Did you break me? Yes, you did. Because I am human. Did you take away a lot from me? Yes, you did. Okay? Let me drink. Let me drink something. Please tag Chela. Did you take away my sanity? Yes, you did. You took away my sanity. You took away my peace. You took away my respect, my dignity. You did. Okay. I don't want to be, I'm, I'm not mad. I am playing back to everything that happened. I am playing back to 
what I went through. I don't want to cry. Tapa neti akuri rapa. Eh? Shifuri we? Tapa ni tapa no phone daily tapa no. I'm just bloody emotional because you know what? I am playing back to everything that I went through. <sighs> Chela, too much of something is bad. Too much of something becomes boring. Too much of something becomes irritating. Why did I end that in the hole? Why did I end that life? I ended up in some kind of PF. Why did I end that? See, money modeling. The power of fear, but more. Power of fear, but more. The wake up, wake up. To turn to my fear, but to learn. Fear, come on, me. You said a lot of disrespectful things. You forgot I had a family. You forgot I had a man. You forgot I had a child. You forgot that in Fuma Kuwantu. All you said and all you did was for your own personal gain. And you won. I don't want to cry, but the party of your, you know, Ukukurida, and she did it because me, Furwa. I need to calm down. Umundu ngaku leka. Umundu ngaku sula. Move on. Move on. Narikosa. But at some point, I get tired. Do you want to feel? Dishim be, but sometimes I want to be human. Sometimes I want somebody to be strong for me. Sometimes I want to wake up and just have a good time. No koko tukana, isha kutukane. All I want to tell you is fucking leave me alone. Leave me alone. You've dragged me. 2020, you took away my peace. You and your little, little minions, you took away my peace. You created stories. You made people believe what you were saying. I kept quiet. Out of everybody, Chela, you, out of everybody, and this is a side I didn't want to talk about. Out of everybody, you witnessed me work. You came to SA. You shot me several times when I was doing modeling. Not once, not twice, not three times. I welcomed you. I was the only happening model in SA from Zambia. And you were from Zambia. The first time I didn't even know you that well. But I knew you were from Zambia. I welcomed you. I remember you and I sitting on top of the on the roof waiting for the show to start. Eh? To I kopama pictures to I seka I was a sister that you had in SA. I took you out for lunch. To I to I seka was I suffering? I wasn't suffering. You didn't find me suffering. When you started your magazine, who did you approach me? Was I against your magazine? No, I gave you support because I needed your support. I gave you support. 
you shot videos, you shot pictures of me. I was proud of you. I put your work out there. I came to Zambia in 2017 to do Miss Universe. Iwachela, you were the first person I contacted. I told you how broke I was. I told you we never had sponsors. I confided in you. Because you keep dragging me. You keep dragging me. There is no stop to you. You keep dragging me. At what point are you going to stop? At what point? Because I need because But because you know what? I have been too strong. I've been too strong for my own good. I've been too quiet. I've been too strong for my own sanity. I need to rest. I need some peace. I need some air. I came to Zambia. I called you. I was staying at Intercontinental. I called you. Hello, Ngolelanda. Ngolela Bantu Ifin to tell them the truth. When I came to Zambia, I called you to meet me at Intercontinental because I was staying there for a few days. Nadi Kwikar Kachela. Nabampera. Contract Iba Miss Universe. I only giving me two months before I could organize Miss Universe. You were on my back, Chela. I'm not gonna take away what you did. You supported me. You told me it's okay, Alice. I will shoot Miss Universe for you. You don't have to worry. You shot Miss you. You did my final pictures, my final welfare pictures. You did them for me for free because I didn't have the money to give you. Miss Universe came. Appointed you as a main photographer for Miss Universe. I never wanted any person, anybody else, to shoot Miss Universe apart from you because you supported me. You came again in 2017, you came to South Africa. I remember this was the last time that you and I hung out. When the show was done, I drove us to a club. We had fun. I've got pictures of you and I having fun. You, me, and my little sister. We took pictures. We did everything. We went back home. Or rather, I dropped you at your hotel at 04 in the morning. And guess what? You even posted and said a lot of good things about me. What happened, Chela? What happened? Mu 2020, while you were in Okulanda, it's in Nay. I'm PF. I'm a minister, it's one PF. May my child die today. If at all, in a, I'm a PF member to support my life. There is no PF member. There is nobody in the PF, in the government. Abangabuka no kulanda in a valentala, no kumpere mpia, in a. But I kept quiet for a reason. I kept 
that's quiet because I have a family that gave me that advice. I have ignored you. There was only one person in the PF government that I was close to. One person. Apart from a honor of Bodora City, there was only one person I was close to, Mr. Spange. And there's nobody, there's nothing anybody can say for me to say ill things about Mr. Spange. He was a good man. He is still a good man. He was good to me. Not because I slept with him or I had any affair with him, but because he was introduced to me. Or rather, I was introduced to him by my ex-boyfriend. I never knew who my Spanger was until my ex-boyfriend introduced me to him. Up to today, I still regard my Spanger as my older brother. There is nothing nobody can ever tell me to discredit a man who did nothing wrong but help me and give me attention when I needed people to give me attention. I was looking for sponsors. Mr. Spanger did not help me based on him being the PF cadre or the PF minister or the PF permanent secretary. Mr. Spanger was about to open a printing company. My duty was to make sure that when he helps Miss Universe, we can advertise his printing company. Hence, everybody that was wearing Ama t-shirts from Miss Universe, they were coming from my sponges. Nothing personal. I have kept quiet. Because you know what? I didn't want to involve Abantu. I might dislike her today. But I am one person who is grateful for what people have done for me. I might not like my honorable Dorothy today. But my honorable Dorothy helped me in a and Miss Universe. That woman would write letters, not sending women to dating by the peche or a woman to movie or a woman to add it to me. As long as the person has never done anything ill to me, I'm not going to come here and say anything bad about them. But Honorable Dorothy, I don't like her for other reasons, but trust me. She helped me, and for that, I'll forever be grateful. That woman would write letters. Give them to me. My lady, go to this office. I have written this letter. This letter says A, B, C, D. When they give you sponsorship, my lady, you need to understand that you owe these people advertisement. Whatever you do under Miss Universe, you need, you really need to advertise them. And I would always say, my lady, I will do my best. And I would go around from office to office, office to office, delivering letters. None of them were in the PF. I kept quiet. You make people believe in me. Valendala, kuma PF kadazi, kuma PF ministers, kuma PF permanent secretary. I was quiet, Chela. I was quiet. I touched my face to that permanent secretary I was sleeping with. I touched my face to that minister that was sleeping with me. I touched my face to that politician who was keeping my life. Please do it. Nanaka, Nanaka, mm-mm, Nanaka. I never liked PF 
Yes. I had people in the PF that I cared for. Like my sponge, like I have said, and I will always say this. Just because you know people that are male, it doesn't mean you're sleeping with them. Ine. Businesses. Not because of anything, but because I am my father's daughter. Despite Alice Mumunapa social media, despite the person you've disrespected, I have brains. I am my father's daughter. Tell me to write a proposal and I will write it to you. Tell me how to make money and I will make money. I don't need to use my vagina. I don't need to open my legs, but you have reduced me to that. We all be able to get but no, it is a up. All of you, I will come back for you. I will come back for you. But for you, Chela, enough is enough. My brother, enough is enough. You can do so much better. You can choose to be a better person. Mahaka in the HDMI has given you a job. Why don't you pay attention to it? The reason why you fought for the government was to see peace. Why are you bringing confusion? You used me to get attention from people. I gave you the attention that you needed, my brother. You used my name. You discredited me. You discredited my job. Not that you didn't know who I was. Chela, you know me. A lot of people have not witnessed what I can do and what I can bring to the table because most of them only know me on social media. But you, Chela, you know me. You know me. You've seen me work. You and I have worked together. I've given you support. You've given me support. Before I came to Zambia, I lived well. I was living in Santon. I wasn't living with you, bro, or anywhere else. I was living in Santon. Eh? My house rent was how much? 9,500 rands every month. I was only 25, 26, 27 years old. I had my own hustle. I used to sell things at the back of my car. When you came in 2017, I was driving a 2000, 2016 Mercedes-Benz, just a uh, 4 series. I carried you in my car. Did I look as if I was suffering? So even when I lived in South Africa, living the life I was living, so I was PF Marisunga. Cash na nilewi na nilewi PF Marisunga. Mundwandi, too much of something is bad. Alan de Kenny Kondushe. De Kenny Kondushe. Alan de Mundufie. I've never come to social media to brag about how I am fucking a married man. I've never done that. I've never come to social media and brag about how I'm moving from one man to another. These are the stories that you people have created for me just to discredit me. How far long? Do you want to go? How far long? Haven't you killed me enough? Haven't you killed me enough? Haven't you discredited me enough? What else do you want from me? What else do you want from me? I forgive you, not because you deserve it. Chala, I forgive you. You are the reason why a lot of people in Zambia have disrespected me. You are the reason why a lot of people in Zambia have called me Iule. You are the reason. Even when you knew the truth, you chose to lie for your own personal gain. Your own personal hurt. 
your own personal desires to destroy me as a person. I'm not strong for people, I'm strong for myself. And I am forgiving you, Chela. I am forgiving you. Because you know what? I am not going through this drain with you. I want some peace and sanity. I want some peace and sanity. I have had enough. I've had enough of you. I've had enough of people trying to drag me. People have even forgotten how hard I have worked. My name is attached to Umuwule. Everything that I do is attached to Umuwule. People have even forgotten how hard I have worked. How hard I have worked in the past days because of people like you. Have you destroyed me as a person? No, you have not destroyed me. You have not destroyed me because I grew up in a house of love. I am loved by my siblings. I am loved by people close to me. So no, you haven't taken away the love I have for myself and for people around me. But what you have done, you have discredited who I am. You have put a name that you want people to associate my name with, with your own name. And trust me, I don't believe in karma. I don't believe in karma. But I pray that one day when you wake up, you realize that all this dirt you've put on my name was actually not even worth it. All I am asking you is leave me alone. It's okay, my brother. You don't do. Leave me alone. You have said it all. You have done it all. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I have a weakness for young men. My husband is 15 years or 14 years older than me. He's not old. And he's the oldest I've dated. I've always had a weakness for young people. Walin salula, walin fula, walin fika machina, walin chte ule, bala ndala kuma PF. You don't know what you have done. To you, it's all jokes on social media. It's all clout. It's all numbers. But have you thought about me? As a person, what it has done to me. Have you thought about my child? Forget about me posing in bikinis because you know what? My son sees me in bikinis all the time. I'm civilized. My child is civilized. My child is being brought up by a white person. So being in a bikini is nothing. But I want to ask you, Chela, as a person, when you sit down, when you sit down and you look at yourself in the mirror, do I deserve the dirt you've put on my name? Do I deserve it? Do I? What have I done wrong to you? Do you know my biggest flex? My biggest flex is that I don't hurt people. I am capable of hurting people, but I choose not to. All of you people, we have understand about social media. Especially you people that have been close to me once or twice. I don't care about Rampita and Shira, about social media, about Shine Jishima. I'm talking about you people that I welcomed in my house, in my personal space. Imwe. What is it that I ever did wrong to you? All of you, you will say it was a little misunderstanding. It was a little misunderstanding. How, how any, not in Facebook fear. Have you ever thought about what the Facebook fear has done to me as a person? My brother, it is okay. 
trying. If I've ever wronged you in any way, my brother, I apologize. I am very sorry. Please forgive me. All I am asking you is leave me alone. As you point out, people who are eating my PF's money, point at them. I personally, if there's anybody I ate money from, was Mr. Spanje. And Mr. Spanje is like a brother to me. Mr. Spanje was introduced to me, or rather I was introduced to Mr. Spanje by the only man, only man I knew in Zambia for the longest time, who is my ex. Okay, so Raspanje, I can never have anything to do with Raspanje when Raspanje was there, who is a friend or rather somebody very close to somebody I respect. Somebody I, somebody I will forever respect. Somebody I hold at the highest level in my life. Now my papa is a chair. The power the next time, the folk run that small, small. Ebalem Doda, Kuma PF member, Zi, I was small, small, Balem Lala, Kuma permanent secretary, Nangura for Kuma, Kuma, Kuma ministers, na papa, the Mabalumra Kuma machine, Abama ministers. I have, let me allow you to do it. Balum Buren Kuma machine, one be catching such a chanty, Nabobe Nama ministers, Nare Lala Navena, one be catching such a Nama permanent secretaries, Ove Nare Navena. Tell me, papa. It is not right. You brought in a lot of confusion in my life in 2020. You're one of the reasons why I left Zambia. You are the you're one of the reasons why I went into depression. You. I survived it. I came out of it. You need to stop. I am not mad, I'm not upset, and I am not going to give you hurt because you know what? Mm -mm. Too much negativity. All I am saying is, my brother, Wadi Landiro for Waland in 2020. you depressed me. Mofa, now you a pimple. What if I didn't and I give you respect for that. All I am saying is, mm, I am in a very good space in my life, surrounded by people that love me. I am focusing a lot on different things. I can be, I can be mean if I want to be mean, but I choose not to. I choose to overlook everything you've done, everything you've said. I have. I choose to just pretend you didn't even hurt me. Because you know what? I want a new chapter in my life. I want a new chapter. Stop dragging me. Stop dragging me. Stop. Your attention seeking is screaming. It is screaming. You can do so much well without even attacking anybody. But support Not because there was nothing to do in the PF, because I was never a PF cadre. I was never affiliated to the PF. I was affiliated to one person in the PF. And even if today you put a gun on my head, I will respect, I will love, I will be grateful, I will never say anything bad about my Spanje. He is a good person. At least he was good to me. And the few people that I know, I don't care about his personal life. I don't care what he did with other people. All I care about is a relationship I had with him. 
He was a brother. He was a friend. He was somebody I would run to. But would even correct my proposals. And everything he did for me, for my organization as Miss Universe, I will forever, I will forever be grateful to him. And nobody will ever take away that. Nobody. Not even your accusations. I campaign for my UPND. Hold on, if I can block her, I really don't, I don't want negative energy. I really don't want negative energy. I campaign for... <sighs> Hold on, guys. <sighs> Sorry. campaigned for UPND not because I was tired of PF I campaigned for UPND because all of us wanted change and all of us wanted something different okay did I betray people that supported me yes I betrayed Raspanja and I betrayed Radora Celia but you know what it had nothing to do with them I needed a change in my life so was everybody who was rooting for UPND my support to UPND was purely because I wanted change as a person as me I wanted people that would listen to me I didn't want connections okay I didn't want connections I wanted people like right now oh people are complaining it's tough in the industry it's tough money by UPND and ABCD blah 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 they are working with papers you have papers you have something to show them okay that's what we all wanted okay forget about Adiswa Kwato Mungulu I'm educated Forget about because I pose here in bikinis and every, I, I, I can put my mouth on something. That's the reason why when you think my life is going to end, I pull up. It's not because you need to stop stop making people believe in your delusional you know statements you are delusional you need to stop we gotta stop all this chela we need to stop at some point i need to be able to look at you and say well done my brother for everything that you've done you have been sent to brazil do something great there do something, do something that you, that will benefit you as a person. Not if you so they walk into small, small, eh, into small, small. I didn't pay attention to that. I don't know what I do. I see you in me. I'm going to the market. In your going to the market. How, where, when? I'm not even attracted to Congolese people. Not because they're not good people, but because a person has to be attracted to who they are attracted to. Eh? Why is that? No, but do I see about him? But that is see because that is a lender. No more, no more, no more, no more. No more, no more. How? How? Mark was the best friend to Ali. If you know Ali, you know how close I am to Ali. And that's the reason why I was being found with Mark and Ali because Ali and Mark were best of friends and I was close to Ali. 
Why is up? You make people believe our way. I decided to come out. But Dora said, you want me? Me and my honorable Dora, we never had that connection. We didn't have, we never had. I like it's too much. So abam wabuka. Hello, you know what? From 2020, I avoided you. I came here in 2020. You went for, to prison for defamation of character. You know you were charged because you you know whatever happened. I don't care. We made jokes about it. We forgave you. We moved on, right? You moved on. I moved on. Eh? Again, you keep on coming. You are coming back for me. You are coming. I can give you another energy. You know, I can give you a positive energy of Alice. I can give you me. I'm influential in my own way. I can work with you like I did before. I can talk to you like I did before. Stop it. Stop it. Stop trying to keep on painting my name black. Ah, my brother. Everything you've said about me, Chela, I have forgiven you. Deep down your heart, you know, you know it's not true. You know, you know you were very unfair to me. You know you said all those things just to make yourself feel good. My brother, it's okay. Time has passed. Okay, time has passed. Let's focus. I am 35 years old. My son is 11 years old. I am tired. I am tired. I am fed up waking up to post and my son is very intelligent he reads he has full access to social media he can read he can access all these things that you people say about me you gotta stop at some point stop if you claim you love my hh if you claim my hh you love my hh you need to stop because you are discrediting my hh you wanted peace but you don't want peace this is not peace what you're doing is not peace you wanted something different oh i'm being for my next thank you about what are you doing you're doing exactly the same thing you were campaigning against that's what you're doing let's move on let's move on stop Chella, stop i can give you positive attention stop saying you was talking about another nation he mentioned me who do you people address as small small is there anybody else they address as small small per social media apart from me is there anybody else they call small small on social media apart from me eh? we can all live peaceful you know we can all be just happy i left zambia i am here i am having fun Okay, I'm living my life. He's taking care of me. I'm living okay. I am happy in my own little world and every city. It's not right. Everyone 
I can explain myself when it comes to why I posed nude or why I posed in a bikini or why I posed with my matakoluko so I can explain myself that to my child but I will not explain myself why Chela Tukuta said in the PF to give me a life has my life changed Chela I want you to see it down this is your homework from 2016 when you came to South Africa the way I was looking the way I was leaving the way the car I was driving how I was presenting myself did it ever change when I came to Zambia no I was still living okay when I came to, to, to this country, there were stories, my life has never changed. It has been consistent. My life has never changed. It's been the same. Because you know what? There's a certain Alice that you don't know. You claim to know Alice, but there's certain Alice that you do not know. That's the reason why, despite everything you say, my life is still the same. I lived well in SA. I lived well in Zambia, according to my own standards of living well. And when I came here, I'm still living okay. To my own standards of living okay. Am I rich? No. Do I claim to be rich? No. But I live the life I want to live, the life that I feel like I deserve. It's time you moved on. It's time you gave yourself attention, a little bit of love, you know, a little bit of focus here and there. Eh? So you gotta stop. You need to stop in case you know how my super social media bless and ABC. I even met my sponge's wife. Very beautiful woman. I met my sponge's wife. I saved her food. I knelt down and I saved her food. That is to tell you that you know very little about the things that you talk about. That's to tell you that you know very little about the things you talk about. If you want to know ask me. Hey? Chela, fiapwa. Hey, fiapwa mundo and fiapwa. Ure fo kuchita ko ataki ba mbi ba chita ko ataki. Ili na kupa patira mundo na kufuka mina. Hey, na kupa patira. I've been away from social media for good month. And after this video, I will go away. I don't want. I just want my own personal space, my own happiness. Me she. You sound so shy and deep. Tell me who for you know. She let me baba. When I'm happy, it makes you feel bad. Eh? How a chela? Let other people say mean things about me. People that don't know me. Not the way. Not the way. Ah way. Ah we chela. Ah. There's a time in life where you just give up and say, you know what? I've said and done everything to this person. Can this person have rest? Can this person retire? Because you know what? She's had enough. So I've got your position before I've had enough. Hey, hey my brother, I've had enough. Leave me alone. Hmm? Leave me alone, eh? Hey? Thank you so much. I'm responding to the post that you posted yesterday about me. Leave me alone. I'm very happy. My sanity is on point and I'm looking forward to beta days. And I want to tell you that you did everything you could to break me. And I want to tell you that you did, okay? You broke me. You hurt my feelings, you damaged me as a person. You missed my name. You sent me into depression. Anything negative that you can think of, you did it to me. Okay? But I've forgiven you. And it's okay. It's time for us to move on. Remove my, my, my name from your mom. Do something else. Take care of yourself and God bless you. Stay blessed.
and understand that I can be as mean as you. I can say a lot. But there's no point. It's not necessary. That's my biggest flex. You know? Knowing that I can do something but I don't want to do it. That is my biggest, biggest flex. I'm not going to say anything bad about you because I don't even know you that well. Apart from one or two things that we did together, I don't know you that well. I will not come here and discredit, discredit you or say anything. All I am saying is leave me alone. Shade the problem PF. Shade the problem PF. Hi. I was a permanent secretary, a permanent secretary. I have a rebel on me. Badly, there was a chiava nabo, my ex bandini. Well, for the quaver, a connection yaripo. And from there, I became like his little, his little, little niece or his little sister. Has he ever proposed anything to me? Never, not even one day. I give him respect, he gives me respect. I call him boss, he calls me madam. Eh? So you need to stop. Eh? Oh, you are the pocket when I was much younger, not even in 2020 or 2019, when I was much younger, when I was 23, 24, 25 years old, I didn't But why do you focus on social media? Why do you focus on social media? Why do you focus Eh? Despite yourself, from what is some good for Aris and the Ram Cabin, or Aris Napoca Chupochaven, or Aris who call Nava Mikata, Arimu Hotel Room Ram Cabin, oh, go, Aris who call it at our Kurika video, my new fop. Cashu wooden for wooden for the permits for me to go to wash it. Give me alone. Let me rest in the moon to fear. Eh? Let me rest in the moon to fear. Chela, how we pay the the campaign me ko, the campaign me ko. Ie ya we campaign me ko. Ndi muntu fi. Eh? Allah ta wa kayere the one thing I was saying for that me for with everything you've done to me. Okay, so for that me, I just you cannot pull an alpha. You come for shan. You come for shan. What happened to you and I just joking? What happened to you and I just being good towards each other? What happened to that? What happened to us being in good terms? Because I never did anything wrong to you. You said no uh, when Sava actually attacked I didn't support you. You and Sava were both my friends. I told you, please. Eh? Chela, stop this and stop that. No, I'm gonna leave you. Stop. Nah, yeah. If you want to you Nah, Hey, we need to be sharp, Naya. Ah. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I will be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Pondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.